Hello, hello, Aries and Cross Watchers. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Project Fev Tarot and More. I'm Sharon, bringing you the channeled energies of the collective today for Aries more specifically. Um, this is a general read, which may go without saying that it's not gender specific. So you'll hear he, she, but you can interchange that term um, for divine masculine, divine feminine, or he, she based on how it resonates with you. Also, um, as a general read, a general rule of thumb is to take into consideration that not everything that comes through the reading is going to resonate with you. It's not going to be all specific towards your situation. I might be channeling a particular group of Aries that needs to hear the message more than you. Particularly, there's uh, plenty of amazingly talented tarot readers out on YouTube and probably in your general vicinity. You can reach out to any one of those if you're really struggling. Um, if it's a you know something along the lines of um, something you need help with, I'm going to be offering um, personal reads. Look for the link in the information below. I have a Venmo account. Going to set up a PayPal by the end of next week, and it looks like I'm going to be getting started here with some basics, some generals, some extendeds, some personals, and some all inclusives. Okay, and I'll have some price packages for you guys available. So look for that down in the description box. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're uh, liking the video go ahead and click that like button and don't be afraid to click the notification bell so that you can get notifications about uploaded content as soon as it hits the channel all right all right general energies in the premeditative okay you guys um, Aries you guys have been rocked pretty hard in the past month I've been channeling the same general type of uh, quality for you guys it's then of a total tower moment and something in a tower moment really kind of has a ripple effect uh, almost like you know riptide it's just as soon as you surface and feel like you're catching your wind something rolls you right back under okay so um, you guys have kind of had a little bit of a cyclic action going on here um, but you're in an upswing right now okay so that's the general energy that I'm getting for this in particular um, except for um, relationships, okay? You guys are not in an upswing in relationships yet. So your finances are starting to recover. Maybe you found a new job, um, have a new uh, financial income situation. That's starting to recover. Yeah, here we go. Queen of Cups is in reverse. We've got the Two of Cups is in, in the upright, okay? Um, so when it comes to matters of the heart and it comes to matters of relationship, that's really what's pulling through for the reading because I feel like you guys have a pretty good handle on your finances now. You got a pretty good handle on what's going on in other aspects of your life, but you're really kind of, I don't want to use the word struggling because it doesn't seem like a struggle. It just seems like if you guys were in a boxing match, you got hit on the chin and you're a little wobbly and there's a little bit of a daze, a little bit confused. It's kind of coming through like that energy, like you got hit hard and you're recovering from that, okay? Um, I do feel that the two of cups in the situation represents that the other person is mutually feeling as dazed and confused. Okay. Um, you guys might want to lay off if that's what you guys got going on, back away from that type of th thing. Cause it's bringing toxicity into the relationship and focus more on the emotional, uh, contributions that each of you are making to each other. Okay. And going forward, building something um, more tangible. So what I'm kind of channeling now is um, that there's still some more purging to do. Okay, hold on one second. Thank you, Divine. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you guys still have some more emotional purging to do. Seven of Cups has come up with the Six of Wands in the basis of the situation. Okay, so here's what you guys have. The Seven of Wands presented itself first. So you guys are really starting to realize that you have to put a lot more focus and a lot more action and energy into your emotional connection, your emotional um, contribution, your emotional investment into this relationship in order to maintain togetherness or you know, just to be with this person. And I also feel like this is representing um, emotional hurts 
um, that need healing, okay? So, so you guys are realizing you're gonna have to put your effort and energy into healing, something not just for yourself, but for your partner as well, okay? So let's see what the past situation is. Past situation is the Four of Cups, Nine of, uh, or Nine of Cups, Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, so it seems like either this was a broken engagement um, or a relationship that didn't materialize. So some of you Aries, a particular group of Aries proposed and were turned down for whatever reason. Or you guys were engaged and then the catastrophic tower moment that really didn't have a lot to do with your relationship brought about all of these issues from within the relationship and really surfaced all of or unearthed all of the deep insecurities that existed in yourself and in your partner. And you guys are having trouble relating because you're having to deal with your own stuff and they're having to deal with their own stuff and you guys are kind of just plopping it either into the relationship out of a lack of experience or a lack of relationship skills um, and it's causing a breakup here. Okay, so this definitely looks like a breakup. It's not the tower moment though. And I do need to point out that this is not the reason why the tower happened. And this breakup is only a result of other things that are unstable. So it feels a little bit wobbly, you know, like a weeble wobble, okay, is what's going on right now. You would like to focus on getting your money right. And you'd love to pour all of your time, energy, and effort into creating a more financially stable situation and having your needs met and meeting the needs, the basic fundamental needs of yourself and your partner. But your partner doesn't and can't just focus on this alone. But this is your focus. Your focus is like, okay, one thing at a time, let's deal with this situation because this seems to be what fell apart. So you either lost a job or some drama played out where you had to walk away from a financial situation or whatever was supporting you financially. Okay, so what I see um, in the emotional concerns is the temperance in reverse. Okay? Okay. Okay. I see the temperance in reverse for your emotional concerns. Um, and this is indicating to me that there's a lack of balance and a lack of stability. So this is confirming for you that the, the trauma or the situation that took place that really brought about all these issues in the relationship are making you question how strong was this relationship ever to begin with if it can be this uh, wobbly from a non-related issue. And what is this person even really with me for? Okay, and you're viewing them as the death card. Okay, so are you guys just in a phase of transition and will you get through this? You don't know. You really don't know. The King of Cups is in reverse. It's in the thought, it's in the desires um, position. And really what that indicates to me with the co correlation of these other cards is you really want to focus on not being overly emotional, not being dramatic about the relationship, not having to focus on fixing the relationship right now because you're just starting to upswing into a better better situation over here. So you're really asking or demanding or expecting your partner to just kind of deal with their own crap for a minute because you got enough stuff going on already over here, okay? So when it comes to the relationship, you have the ace of wands in reverse. You just, you're just not feeling it. You're not feeling it with this person right now at all. You don't want to invest with them. You don't want to take any action, effort, or energy and put it into fixing this, this situation. You just don't have it or you don't want to. The desire isn't there. Okay, so let's get some clarification on um, the cards and then probably some advice. Okay, so let's, oh, in, in the future position here, which we didn't discuss, um, I feel like there's more clarifying cards here, okay, is the um, Knight of Cups. I do see that what eventually happens is you do come around, you do start to emotionally rectify the situation, you start to see and address your emotional self. What's the pathway there? I don't know. That's what we're going to ask. Okay. Okay. So, um, Divine Spirit, the path from the Temperance and Death card to the Knight of Cups, 
let's let's take a journey here okay you're gonna have to deal with some crap mm -hmm. yeah all right so this already came out we've got the knight of swords and we've got the six of swords okay so the knight of swords is um, creative ideas and you're really gonna start brainstorming this is the card of brainstorming how do I fix this keep it all together maintain this relationship with this partner is it even really what I want do I want to stay with my partner so what you're really doing is you're brainstorming through the seven of cups as these things come up and you're called to purge them um, what I really see in order to settle into the Knight of Cups role is you have to go through each one of these situations, play it out in your mind, and decide how you feel about it, what you think about it, and ultimately what you're going to do about it, okay? But you're only in the processing phase where you see and recognize that these things are there, You've learned something from this experience and you're trying to extrapolate from this experience some benefit, okay? Kind of almost like a what can I salvage, okay? The swords that are coming in the boat with you as you move away from this situation, what, it, what can I salvage? So this is still all in the brainstorming phase, okay? There is no action taken. You actually haven't stepped out and started to do any of this. You're still internally processing, okay? So we're, we're not quite to the Knight of, Knight of Cups yet. So what else is here, okay? I feel like the Queen of Pentacles came out, the Nine of Swords in reverse, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so what you guys are really investing in right now is getting your financial situation or your job back on track. Okay, you're trying not to have or allow yourself to be overwhelmed by anxiety. Okay, that's what I take from the um, Nine of Swords in reverse. You're really trying to reprioritize through the element of survivalist instincts, okay? You almost had to like sweep everything away for a second and kind of discard it. And the relationship was on the table with what was discarded or partially discarded in a way because you really just had to focus on your base needs, your fundamental base needs at the heart of everything that's going on with you, okay? And in order to become the champion of your finances, you've really had to tap into... Um, your, your deep inner sense of self, you've had to really work on what happened. Hey, what just happened? And how do I prevent this from happening again? And what um, do I really need to work on? Like you're having a sense of realization, but it hasn't, it hasn't really um, presented itself in reality yet. Like the changes are coming. You're at the fundamental base phase of change. And transformation so you're working on this transformation but you're trying not to like be overwhelmed trying not to overthink it you're trying to just go with the flow you're trying to just chill and breathe and really um, incorporate the lessons that you've learned as a result of this whole tower moment and everything that it's brought up for you okay um, so when you do take action um, we're going to come to the action cards, which are the Moonology cards. Uh, what action, Divine, should Aries take first? Meditate and contemplate. That's the card that just pulled up for you guys. So, so you guys are right on track, okay? So if you guys are taking the time to go introspective, um, kind of turn the tables on yourself, uh, reveal and experience your full emotional self without overthinking and drawing incorrect conclusions or jumping to conclusions, I feel is like coming up with this card. Um, because it's the new moon, um, sometimes clarity is a little challenging to achieve because it's hard to see when it's dark. And Objects in the dark can look like many things and the mind when you're being creative and you're in creative mode can actually create a lot of scenarios um, and also depict a lot of creatures and falsify information. So I feel like the message that's coming through in this card is not just that of thought, but that of meditation. Really focus and hone in on clarifying 
your meditative process here so that you can extract from the meditative sessions the most clarified and accurate information possible, okay? And um, here's a combination card that came out is luck is on your side and it's time to release negativity, okay? Whatever emotional stuff that you've been kind of allowing to linger, and I won't even say that you've been carrying it with you, it seems like some of you, a particular group of Aries, now this might not resonate with all of you, but um, I feel like there's a specific group of Aries that hasn't even been aware of just how deeply they've been affected emotionally by some of their past traumas. And it's starting to purge and surface, okay? And really, a full moon in Scorpio is exactly that, you know? Um, scorpions glow in the dark at night um, when they're exposed to black light. <laughs> okay, so you can even shine uh, air, incandescent light on them and they'll still blend into the background at night. But a black light, so a dark light in the dark night will illuminate a scorpion and reveal the truth. So sometimes the tools that you need to use in order to produce the best results are ones that you're not used to using or have never tried to use before, but they will be more successful, okay? And then I feel like luck is on your side. You, you have the divine here working through this process. Um, the death card has come out for you, which is about um, transformation and rebirth. So I, I really do feel like the universe is at play here, bringing about a tower moment to sift all of this and that's sifting comes through like you're really sifting through everything right now you know you kind of poured and dumped all of the sand into that um, sieve and you're just kind of doing the sifting and seeing what kind of um, pans up to the surface and then you're going to deal with that and you know the larger pieces you'll deal with first and you'll kind of refine it to a point as you go along in the process is how I feel and the goal is to try to do that without overthinking, without drawing in inaccurate conclusions or jumping to conclusions. And in, in essence, just trying to allow things to kind of be, okay? So let's see what protective and affirmative mantras. Um, I'm being led to the specific issues first. So um, let's go to uh, the Soul's Journey deck and pull up specific themes, patience, okay? So um, not only is your patience going to be tested or tried in this situation, I feel like it was a lack of patience that brought on the tower moment for some of you. And in the divine, it says, I accept that everything happens in divine order. So trust in the universe that this tower moment happened for a very specific divine reason. And even though you cannot see the outcome of what that is right now, you might not have the total vision. Um, the universe is bringing your abundance back into the situation. And I feel like the relationship will be restored as a result of your focus on what the universe is presenting to you. Almost kind of like a do the work in yourself and the relationship will be restored. Do the work in yourself and learn the lesson here and your job in abundance will be restored. You'll be back on track because what fell off of track that was brought up with this tower moment wasn't the job. The job was going to fall away anyway because the deal was falling apart or something with the job was going on or your finances you know, was happening. But part of what manifested that was your internal um, lack of awareness or lack of attention to your emotional self and your emotional needs. Okay, so let's see what other themes are coming up with regards to other issues. Okay, service. This is a new card. This has never popped up in another reading before, so I have to read this card too. But service, I feel good when I can help others. Okay. Um, I feel that this is resonating true to the group of Aries that may have made a selfish decision. 
um, in, in this and pulled out of a situation selfishly um, and maybe prematurely because I feel like the patient's card is really illuminating that you, you, you know, whatever this situation is with the fallout in the job had a lot to do with a lack of patience and a lack of service to the greater good. Or your resignation was not in alignment with what resonated with you morally. It seems like there may have even been a moral reason why you left this job or something was happening that you just couldn't participate in anymore. So you suffered some type of moral injury. And that's also for this particular group of Aries, the, the message channeling through with that is that's why all of these emotional issues are coming up for you because it triggered your deepest sense of values and morals and caused it to surface. And now you're looking at it and you're rifling through and sifting through what actually are your truest morals and reestablishing a commitment to your truest self moving forward is going to be vital to manifest your abundance is the message that's coming through right now. Any other messages from these cards? I'm getting that there's one more card for you, Aries. So let's wait for the divine to show us what that card is. Oh, I feel it. Wants to pop out here. It's trying. Thank you, spirit. Okay, adversity. Okay, so this is the, basically this is uh, this deck's version of the tower, and it just illuminates a little bit further, elaborates a little bit deeper what all happened with the tower moment. Okay, so I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So there must have been something that you can um, extract from this experience as a learning, a learning experience. So this is a learning experience for you, um, personal learning, okay? Not learning about how to perform well at your job or I just, I don't feel like it was that. This is about your own personal self, bring, bringing your most authentic and genuine truest self to the surface and looking at it and going, okay, what of this have I not been functioning and, and operating from a place of my truest, you know, most authentic moral inner self. Okay. Okay. So love came up in reverse, popped out in reverse and challenges in the upright. So you still are going to have some challenges in the arena of your relationship. And that's not, I feel like the divine is not wanting you to focus your energies there. So for that particular group of Aries where you're refocusing on yourself, you're doing the right thing. That's the confirmation in the cards is yes, you know, this person's kind of losing their crap a little bit, but that could very well expose that there was a unhealthy codependency in the relationship that probably needs healthier boundaries at this point. Okay. So the message on the love card here, and mind you that this was in reversed. This was in reverse. So we're going to see what, how this correlates to the challenges card too, but it's not about finding love. Okay. You are love itself. So I feel like you haven't connected with this and that's why it's in reverse. So this is a specific message for some of you Aries out there that need to hear that you are love itself and the prayer or the mantra or the positive affirmation that you can speak to the divine to help you connect with this is help me Lord to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember. I myself am love. Okay. So you you don't have to love yourself. You already are love. Just represent that in the things that you do. And maybe you're coming back to that. Okay. That's what I feel like working through this adversity um, is providing for you in this um, refocusing on your emotional traumas and past hurts and bringing forward your, your most genuine and authentic self. So you're basically being called by the universe to shed the mask and really be true to who you are. Okay. So challenges with regards to this love card for yourself is um, here. It says unbearable situations throw you directly into God's arms if you are open. 
Okay, so after a tower moment, which is an uncontrollable situation, and seemingly at this point for you guys in some ways unbearable, um, it broke. Something broke. Now, you weren't knocked out as a result of this, but something in life broke. There was a monkey wrench in the spokes, and it was just like a... You know, everything happened. That's just what happened. So the mantra here is, please take over, divine. Oh, this is a... Jesus, take the wheel moment. Jesus, oh, yes, okay. Uh, and guide the right actions. Oh, okay, so here you go. So if you go inside yourself, because this is, you haven't taken any actions yet, except for, you know, with, with regard to your job or your finances, you're trying to stabilize that situation. So you haven't really been inspired. So maybe you're still in hermit mode. You haven't really been inspired or mused by any particular energy in the situation to really, you know, uh, put a lot of what you're kind of contemplating and what you're introspective about. You haven't activated in it yet. Okay, so this would be like, oh, I realize that I have an anger management issue. I am way too mad at people for no or little tiny things set me off in big ways. I need to probably take a class or do something and, and, and take initiative and action. So taking the class is the initiative, but you haven't taken the class yet. You're just starting to process and realize I have an anger management issue. That's only an example that might not resonate with every Aries, just to specify. But that would be an example of what I'm talking about. Interchange that to whatever your situation is. Um, and the prayer here or the mantra or meditative focus is please take this burden and show me your will. So how can you use this to benefit not just yourself, but the greatest good in servitude, you know, not slavery, but in service to others? Because clearly for some of you Aries out there being needed, oh, well, if you're in a codependent relationship with somebody who has needed you for a long time and it has felt good, then yeah, maybe that's manifested in your life in unhealthy ways without boundaries and has caused a catastrophic tower moment because the divine is like, no, no more. You're exhausting yourself trying to make this person and, and every situation happy and they're just suckling on the teat to such an extent now that you haven't provided yourself any care or love in a very long time and that's not okay. Time out. That was supposed to be a whistle. It was a really bad version of a whistle. <laughs> but time out. Ref, time out. Call the game off. Game off. Game off. Okay? Car. So, basically what's going on in this situation is that there's some internal work. It's okay. I think you guys um, are headed in the right direction. So I hope that this was um, affirming for a lot of you. It resonated with you guys. That you're on the right path. Keep doing the introspective work. Allow these things emotionally to surface. Deal with them one at a time. Sift through them. Prioritize them as you need to. Don't worry about this codependent relationship. It's all going to work out in the end, even though it's presenting a distraction or challenges to you right now. Hone in and focus. Laser-like focus, warrior on what you need to get done because you're wobbly. Something just hits you hard. And any other little knock in, in that way, and we could be looking at a complete TKO. So please, refocus, recenter yourself. Namaste, everybody. I appreciate you guys watching and, and listening in. I really hope that resonated and helped some of you Aries out there. If it did, leave comments. If it didn't, leave comments, like, subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.